why koalas are more closely related to kangaroos than bears? Why? Because they don't have the qualifications. The qualifications? Oh, <laughs> Hey everybody, we're on our way to the Brookfield Zoo. I've never been there, but I'm here with zoo expert Judson Russell. I Judson, didn't, you didn't tell me where we were going. He's an expert in the zoo and he loves before. this zoo. I fell asleep and I woke up when we were here. Yeah, that's part of the fun of getting here. Judson doesn't know is that there's also some adventure labs at the zoo that we're gonna do at least one of. What? What are you most excited to see at the zoo? I like alligators. Also, the uh, reptile house is air conditioned and that's <coughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> All right, that's my favorite. Oh, that's my excited to see the most dangerous animal, man. I've actually never been to this zoo. I've only been to the free one in Lincoln Park. I'm excited to explore it. And uh, first, it is really hot out, so we're gonna get something cold to drink. As soon as Judson's done pooping. Cup. Ooh, a custom <laughs> collectible yeah. cup. Meerkat. Oh, is that what that is? I'm like, that is a messed up dog. When I bought my drink, they asked me if I was a member of the zoo, and I was like, excuse me, do I look like a rhinoceros to you? Uh. Oh, this is oh, this is where the koalas are, though. Oh. This is exciting. These koalas only showed up at the zoo, I think, yesterday. So we're gonna see in seeing these koala bears fresh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sleepy boy or girl. We're right now in the zoo greenhouse. That's bananas. Oh, look at those bananas. Man, those those bananas are huge, right? Like, those are like bigger than average? Yeah, that's probably about, yeah. I would average, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigger than average size. Slightly bigger than average. Yeah. Nothing to be ashamed of. Nothing to be ashamed of. Hello? It's me friend from down the street. Chakwala. The red-legged Siriyama. Siriyama. It's cool looking though. It's, it's like a little velociraptor. Look at its ancestor. Oh my god. Your grandpa was scary. So are you kind of. We're going to start one of these adventure labs. Ready Judson? Yeah, let's go. All right. And this adventure lab takes us over to this fountain. All right, this first question we have to answer is a pretty tough one. Judson, what is the shape of this fountain? Think about it. On? Yeah, yeah. Circle. Yeah, you got it, you got it. <laughs> All right, that one, I have a feeling this is gonna be a pretty easy adventure water. lab. Oh, sh don't kick, they don't give us lids here, <laughs> Judson. Don't kick my coffee. Why would you put it there? Because <laughs> I'm documenting. Oh, look at that Ferris wheel. Is, is that new? I think yes, it hasn't been here since I've been. Cool. All right, Judson, those are beer cats. They're not messed up dogs. They're very cute. Where's Pumbaa? There is a naked mole rat. I feel like such a voyeur. Right, this is a palace cat, or palace cat. Hey buddy. Here we are at the lion section and we have to answer, Judson, this is a multiple choice question. Are the lions in which section? Tropic world, uh, uh, big cats, um, reptile house, or elephant land? I want to say uh, reptile house. No, no, no. I'm no. Go Second, with big cats. Big cats. You're right. It's big cats. Speaking of big cats, check it out. There's a a tigre. Now listen up. Here's a story about a little guy who lives in a blue world, and all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue. Like him, dolphins are in here. That's not a dolphin. There he is, the most dangerous animal, man. Oh no, he is escaping. Ba ba da ba da ba da 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 ba da da. Who sings that? Seal. Now that your roses in bloom, a light hits the gloom on the gray. Okay, Judson, I have another hard question for you. The next stage of this adventure lab asks this question, and it's a multiple choice again. How many dolphins are on this sculpture? Is it one, 20, 200, or just two? I'm starting to think these questions are for children, right? I, I, I'm starting to get that sense as well. Um, the answer is eight. Yeah. Thanks. I am no better than a child because the question actually said how many turtles? not dolphins, so I got it wrong. Uh, the correct answer is one turtle. 
Uh, check it out. A water monitor. Hey, thanks for uh, monitoring the water. <laughs> okay. Look at this otter. Hey, buddy. You shall not pass. Oh, it's hot. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. All right, Judson. The question is, what kind of animal was Olga? Now, we're in the seal area, keep in mind. I don't know where Olga is. Um, however, this is multiple choice, so I want you to just use the duck. Okay, but you're sure it's not a dragon, nope. a centaur, nope. or a minotaur, right? we saw the statue earlier, too. I, oh, I didn't see it. That's the I would have put dragon. The, I pointed to it. I would have put dragon. <laughs> Glad you're here, buddy. I paid attention. Oh, yeah. Penguins living their lives. There she is, our nation symbol. The bald eagle looking the wrong way. Oh, perfect. Oh, as soon as I said that, it turned his head. That's amazing. Look at this bear. Oh my gosh. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Whoa, bear. Whoa, bear. Hey, Judson. Whoa, Judson. Whoa, bear. Whoa, Judson. On my birthday, if you watch the video, we spent a long time wandering around in the tall grass prairie in like zero degree weather, try and find some American bison. And now here we are on a 90 degree day and they're right there. We, do, we could have just come here. Who knew that the zoo had animals? Not me, not me. Just kidding, it was fun, I love adventure. I almost tripped on that goose. Next, we have to find the red pandas. I predict the question will be, what color is a red panda? Wow, looks like a little muppet. Ooh, he's coming straight for me. Oh, he's coming right into the shot. Once again, we've encountered the most invasive of creatures, humans. Ugh, and they have babies. <laughs> Disgusting. The Bornean orangutan males live a mostly solitary life. Oh, that's kind of sad. Christmas time is here. Everyone has cheer. Ba, ba, ba. So a nice gentleman at the visitor center just told me that the red panda I need to visit is deceased. Um, but I'm still going to go over <laughs> to where uh, it used to live because I need to be in proximity and I can probably still answer this question. Uh, I have, I, I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, a rhinoceros. How preposterous. Now he's just sticking his head in a hole. Oh, look at him. He was, he was bashful because he's got like an injury on his head. You're still a beautiful creature. <gasps> he spoke to me. <laughs> Believe it or not, that is a pygmy hippo. Tired from a long day of eating marbles. In the distance. Kangaroos. If nothing clever to say about them. So a dromedary camel is one hump. A Bactrian camel is two humps. What do you call a three hump camel, Bryce? What? Pregnant. <laughs> Yeah. I just learned that this is not a porcupine. It's an Australian creature called an echidna. And like a platypus, it's one of the only mammals that lays eggs. And if you can see its back feet, they, they turn backwards. Oh. Back feet face backwards. I kidna you not. Those bats are gnarly. Judson's over there getting a refill, but I got within proximity and was able to determine that a red panda's favorite food is, of course, bamboo. Makes sense. That's what regular pandas like, too. And there you have it. Successful day at the uh, zoo with my friend Judson here. Uh, R.I.P. Red Panda, but we completed a very simple adventure lab. And hey, it'd be great for the kids. I'm sorry if it seemed like we were making fun of it. We were not. It was just very simple for two sophisticated, uh, childless uh, fathers who happened to go to the zoo on their day off. Anyway, uh, we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. On three. One, two, three. Cheers. Yeah. Well, Bryce, this trip's been a lot of bull. Hey. <laughs>